So you're sitting in front of your computer or you're endlessly scrolling on your phone. You're thinking to yourself, man, if only somebody showed me how to build a set of upper control arms. Well, friends, today, all your dreams come true. Well, that dream anyway, if you had that dream. Let's say you find yourself in this all too common of situations. The most important thing you can do is remain calm. I'm gonna show you one method that I make upper control arms with. Maybe it give you a bit of insight or uh, inspiration to try your own. As with most things, we're gonna start with the CAD first. So let's hit the computer. So I'm just gonna show you the assembly of the upper control arm. These were all built as individual parts and then I always put them into an assembly to verify everything fits together before they get sent out to laser cutting. Uh, this is the base plate for the upper control arm. This is very important. This sets all of my geometry for this. So this is the location of my bolt-in ball joint and um, my distance for my camber and caster. This is quarter inch steel and then I just essentially build off of this. So. The next would be the top piece of this. So this is a formed piece of 3 16 steel. And you can see how it has corner to corner joints that'll be welded afterwards. So again, these are all separate files, but I'm just gonna show you the assembly for it. And then you build into that, we have the filler plate that goes into the back. same as the front so that ties off the upper ball joint area after I had the CAD done I decided I wanted to put a five degree angle on this ball joint just um, just fit the geometry better I didn't bother CADing that I just bent it after the fact so these are the files that went out for laser and then I just tidied that up afterwards last thing I did was add in my two bushings Not necessary, but it just uh, verifies my final dimensions here that I got everything correct. And that's the assembly. So those were, again, they're broken all down into individual files, flattened out and then sent off to laser cut. And what we got back is what we have sitting on the bench. So you got an understanding of all of the CAD work. I got all my parts back from laser cutter. I got them formed already. You can see the bends in that. Um, if you want to see my process for that, I'll link a video that shows um, another fabrication. Um, yeah, so all my parts are here. Everything's back from laser cut. We're going to face off our bushing ends in the lathe and uh, get started assembling this.
This uses a bolt-in Chevy ball joint. Just like that. Let her cool down and press some bushings in it and they're ready.